and we're gonna Super go ahead fancy. get this next uh, match started. That's right. We have SS versus Nico, and uh, Nico, of course, playing the Shulk. And now, I'm surprised that SS isn't playing more Ness with how uh, how the changes are really affecting Ness. Like, I think Ness is amazing in this game, uh, but he has been working on Inkling. Mm -hmm. I think um, well, we'll have to see. I mean, Inkling is, of course, is very is considered a very strong character in this game. But you know what? Who also is considered a very strong Shulk. <laughs> when oh, you take yes. when you take a mid tier warrior like Nico who is committed to Shulk his whole Smash Four career, and then you buff him, you're gonna get some really nasty results after that. I mean, they did buff him, especially with uh, his the way his nair is the way his nair works. Uh, yes, definitely buffed. But they did nerf his back air. Uh, it no longer has the front hurt box, so it is simply uh, a a hurt box behind him. Um, and of course, they also. Ooh. Oh, interesting! Interesting. I thought that was. I was actually expecting that to ledge grab because you can ledge grab out of the the side B now. He probably thought that he would just make it back to the stage. So, not sure what happened there. Alrighty, gonna get that jab. Okay. While we are here on downtime, I'm gonna talk about uh, Inkling actually. Um, so he has uh, about. Uh, I think it's about. I forgot how many units of ink. I think it's like 300 units of ink uh, in his tank. And then uh, the opponent can hold. Actually, no. The opponent can hold up to 300 units of ink, and uh, but he retains max damage at around 180 units when it's held on. So uh -huh. um, when there's more units after 180, then uh, it just takes max damage, which is about uh, Woo! So good. Five or so. Good down tilt into forward air for SS. And SS is looking so dominant here in game one. Even using the amazing dash dance and movement from England to his advantage. Alright, gonna back throw him off. Oh, air slash almost killing from across stage, but we see Speed Monado online. Now one thing that they did to sort of like change the Monado arts is they did allow the gauge to be uh, visible by everyone. Um, one thing they did to shield is that it as the meter depletes, whenever you get hit, it actually depletes the meter faster. It's almost like you're using your meter. Oh, okay, interesting. All right, gonna get another fair. Man, this Inkling is taking a while to actually lose a stock, and we got the Barry and a three stock coming from SS right there. Of course, Barry is one of the longest uh, lasting berries in the game. Uh, oh, yeah. Tests test it on a wolf uh, at 75% across multiple different types of berry moves. Uh, Inkling's berry lasts almost twice as many frames as King K. Rules. It's the new witch time. <laughs> I wouldn't. No, I want to no, go, no, no, no. go that far. It's the new witch time. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, Z-Life. <laughs> yeah, definitely a very difficult move to get out the get out of. The best way to mash in this game is to rotate your stick because that allows you to get eight inputs uh, yes, before, per rotation. Before it was only four in Smash 4, but now every uh, diagonal counts as well, so it's eight. Yeah, yeah but we're seeing great use of air and back air coming out from Nico. Even in Buster mode, trying to rack up as much damage as possible. Mm -hmm. right, gonna get that jab. Jab puts on a lot of ink on your opponent. That's gonna be able to get you some extra damage. Oh, and of yeah. course, you're seeing the counterplay uh, of the roller. You can uh, jump over it. You can um, you can get an aerial out before it hits you. A lot of stuff. Yes. All right. And, uh, the assault continues from SS as he gets double back here. Yeah. Oh, but the jump art is gonna be able to come back from that. Try to get a follow-up afterwards because he didn't get the cancel out in time, but not gonna be able to find anything right there. And again, throwing out that roller, yeah. looking like an online inkling right now. <laughs> well, call it what you want, but it is in fact working. But air slash out of shield going to take that stock. SS disappeared so fast off that stage. And now using speed, to rack yeah. up a good amount of damage. Yeah, when you're in speed mode, double, uh, short hop aerials are very strong for Shulk. So that's a great advantage you can get. But it's, oh my god, that jab! Damage. That jab just erased shield mode. Ooh, and the explosion too. That also the bomb puts in a lot of damage on your ink. That's right. Getting another grab. We're gonna see another down throw. But even at 230 percent, it's not enough. Yep. And of course, we're seeing how uh, we're, we're seeing um, Nico in Smash 4. He was really good at survivability by switching between his arts, mm. and we're seeing that happen again too. Going into Smash Whoa. mode with Whoa. wow! But oh that runoff fair in Smash mode, even though Inkling was at like a mid percent, that was still enough. Ooh, boy, that was 
That was crazy. Yeah, what a turnaround from game one as we see Choke uh, really stepping it up here. He's really feeling it now. All righty. Bringing things back around. Going to get that hoo-ha. <laughs> One of the oh. few one of few characters that have a consistent hoo-ha left in this game. Yes, you can use it to kill, but there is a specific percent range. Yeah, not as optimal. And it actually changes depending on uh, depending on the Monado mode. Right. Okay, good Nair into forward air. No, no uh, mode activated for Nico right now. It's just kind of vanilla choke. Yep, you can shield that uh, roller as well. And you can go into smash art right here. Potentially looking you, for another fair or something yeah, like that. Yeah, can you blame him when he took that stock so early? Oh my god, that was from the ledge! Not even off stage, still taking a stock with fair. I think that must have been some bad DI from coming from SS or something. I think he was trying to get away. Might, or, might have been a little sus, but yeah, at the same time, know, for <laughs> just to have that much launch with Smash Mode? Okay, so you know that Nico's going to be abusing that uh, against Inkling. Yeah. Oh man. All right, so just to, just to clarify one more time. So Inkling has 150 units in his tank. The opponent can hold up to 300, but max damage at 1.5 is hit after 180 units. So that's definitely a lot of stuff to keep track of if you're an Inkling main. Like oh, that's how, right. How much you ink is like on your opponent and how much you have left, etc., etc. But if you got a full tank onto your opponent, then that's basically going to be a lot of damage for you. I mean, even if, uh, even if it doesn't kill, I believe Roller to Up Smash applies maximum ink. Does it? Yeah. Damn. That's a lot. Roll it up smash, baby. Ooh, jab reset afterwards. Get the up smash. Try to get a juggle out of it, too, but he still gets the jab afterwards. <laughs> Look at that Shulk looking like a Nickelodeon character right yeah, there. Definitely oozed up or inked up. Trying to throw some area. Oh, my God. He's just spamming it at this point. I mean, when your Nair is going to convert into Nair, you might as well keep throwing it out. <laughs> but those big forward arrows coming out from Nico are connecting. And wow. Doing yeah, a ton into of the, damage. Into that dash attack, too. Very smart of him. He knew that he was not going to go off stage, so able to continue his combo string there. Oh, but he does get rollered. And what is the mix up? Surprised he didn't just go for the up smash or an F smash, but. Uh, yep. Actually, one of the one of the interesting things about uh, fighting against a uh, roller, because a lot of people like to use it after a tech chase situation, uh, if, you, um, if you tech, or if you tech correctly, then you actually get buried. But if you. Oh my god. So Nico was actually going to grab the ledge, but the grenade was there to bounce Nico right off the stage. And he had no jump. There was no way he was making that back. But he was able to see. Oh, wait, maybe not. Uh, Inkling's recovery is very good. This is going to be very hard to actually edge guard that. There we go. Well, you know what the answer is? Fair. That's smash mode. <laughs> <laughs> smash mode. I thought that was jump mode. Uh, I think it was smash. Oh, was it smash? Okay. Yeah. I, 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 I like forgot for a second. OK, wow. Good air dodge, avoiding the Nairn to grab. Double forward. Wow. <laughs> Try to intercept right there at the very end. But wasn't quite able to find it. And I guess, of course, we're going to get those huge hitboxes coming from Shulk. And with Buster Mode, it's time to put on some big numbers. Doesn't matter who's getting hit, someone's taking damage. Yeah, and it looks like it's the Shulk. He immediately switches back out of it. And I like what he did. He did imme immediate switch into jump art and then just. Use that jump to be able to make it back over the stage and try to get a back air. But SS was just barely out of range and was able to get out of that situation. Nico trying to clean up that stock with Smash Mode, but SS playing very defensive, not giving him an opportunity to actually uh, clean up that stock, especially at this like mid percent of 71. Back air does sneak in, and SS forced to recover high. Very smart from Nico, shielding that landing hitbox from the inkling of B. I don't know why. Oh, oh wow. Chuck it right in his face. Get him out of here. All right, now we got SS in the lead right now. Speed mode online for Nico. Really hard for her. Um, SS to make it back to the stage, though. Down throw, maybe? Or forward, forward throw? throw okay. I don't, actually don't know which smash art <laughs> throw is actually the best in this game now. Okay, another forward air coming out from Nico. No F smash? I thought that I think that he might have been waiting for the mix-up of SS to try to land onto the stage and get that recovery hitbox in. I mean, I feel like even if he was trying to aim to land inside Nico to like disrupt him, uh, the S Smash still would have covered that option. It doesn't have a hurtbox until he lands on the ground. So if as long as the S Smash came out and was active, he would have died. I like that using jump mode just to be able to retain uh, activeness since he doesn't have to go into fastball. Well, of course, SS have an amazing job on the survivability right here. Okay, and well, as I say that, though, finally going to get that back here, take out the stock. 
And Nico, 75%. And he, this next stock is pivotal, pivotal to this uh, set because we're going to see who's going to have the advantage going into game four and five. <laughs> that down throw forward tilt did like 30 damage <laughs> in Buster Art. That's crazy. Oh, Buster mode, baby. <laughs> yeah. All right. Smash Art still a little bit of juice left in it, but not going to be able to get anything else. Now we got basically an even game right now. Both of these characters are very strong and be able to build up damage and set up their kill potential. Oh. Surprisingly that we're not in, in smash mode right now. Jump mode not off the cooldown just yet, but air, reverse air slush does give uh, Nico stage control. Back air doesn't come out. Dash attack comes in. Oh, and just air dodges right through that backslash. Hard stuff coming out from SS, avoiding that huge box. Huge hit from Nico, but we see a grab. We're going to see a back throw. Not even going to try to do the up throw up there. And be able to recover back to the stage. And Juice drops down and jumps with the forward aerial. Going to be able to make it back into the stage and get an advantage position as well. And as you see SS just trying to avoid these strong hitboxes. Very long hitboxes, too, from That's that right. Shulk Bear. He's just barely getting around and finally going to get a dash attack. Making, Put him off stage. Making great use of his dash attacks. Oh, but the air slash getting caught underneath the stage. Very unfortunate for Nico. But SS takes game three. That tech was so good. <laughs> but it was he's so still, good. He's still not able to make it back to the stage, unfortunately. He needed his jump in order to make it back. He just did not have it. And even calling for his brother for the assist, getting a drink. Yeah, keep things Man, going. I how mean, do I get the brother assist? <laughs> <laughs> do you have a brother? Uh, no. Uh, that's, a, that's a start. That's thing. a sore topic for me, Sage. Why would you bring that up? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Let's see what this last stage is going to be. Or No, no, potentially last stage. It's still on Nico's counter. I mean, it doesn't matter if this is, in fact, uh, the last stage or not. Advantage goes to SS. That's a huge point to make in this set. SS in that last, the end of that game, he, he, when it came down to that last hit situation, making great use of his movement, making sure, making it very difficult to tell when he was going to come in. Alrighty, we're sticking with the same characters here. I'm sure Nico thinks that uh, the Shulk is enough, and that's who he's been playing like at all these locals and stuff. So we're gonna have to see how it goes down in Battlefield, though. Okay, starting off with speed mode. Now, one thing to note, uh, now in, in Smash 4, we usually see like fair trains coming out from all the show players uh, in jump mode. Now you actually do it in speed mode. Mm -hmm. All right, Hoo-Ha comes in, able to juggle onto the platform, get a re-grab before he goes back down to the stage. Yeah, not, unfortunately not able to follow up for that re-grab, but Shield uh, Monado does its mode, or does its job. Oh, try to get the follow up afterwards, but the uh, the force smash comes in. Uh, uh, very important. Very important to know that SS does not have a lot of ink. Got to keep an eye on that uh, on that gauge because it can give you uh, insight to what options are available to SS. Yep. Probably won't be able to do a roller uh, very soon because he's going to start slowing down. So probably going to have to offer some other options. Like you saw right there, he tried to throw out the bomb, but he didn't keep track of his. Uh, that's right. Of his meter, so he just did the little pose that Inkling does to show you you don't have enough ink. Okay, back air connecting. Now the bomb does get thrown out. Low ink again. But look how much uh, ink he was able to use with the roller. That was all of it. Yeah, uh, I feel like SS got to keep track of that ink because he, he barely has any left right now. And with the way that Nico is playing, he's not giving him an opportunity to refill his gauge. But you know you can refill your gauge, losing your stock. Yep, but that definitely gives an advantage to, to Nico. Uh, for the second stock here. Alright, making sure that he has all the ink ready. Alright, he's just gonna do a safe recovery back onto the stage. Alright, Buster Mode activated. Oh man, Ooh. SS went really deep for that. Try to get Whoa. the back air too, and just gonna get that no tech on there. One easy way to know if it was untechable, of course, you have to be at a pretty high percent for that to happen. But if there's a red ring around uh, your opponent as they uh, miss their tech opportunity, then it's untechable. Oh my wow. god, there to forward smash! And there's that forward smash I've been looking for. I've been waiting for Nico to throw out that move. That sends so far, and it's huge! Why wouldn't you use it in this set? This set? Okay, SS looking for an S smash of his own. Yeah. Alright, Air Slash comes out. Great use of movement, getting the double back air and trying to follow up with a forward air so low, but not able to find it. Now eating a bit of damage with those some up tilts. 
Are we going to see an up smash? Yes, fully inked Nico trying to recover back to the stage. Gonna get a back throw out into a forward smash. Nice stuff going out. Oh, and did not punish that directional air dodge. Unfortunate from SS. It looked like he had a really big opportunity right there. All right, Jazz coming from SS, but reverse air slash from Nico. Both these players throwing out big moves. Throwing back off stage, repeat the situation. And is able to clip back onto the stage. Just fine, 176 damage onto Nico right here. Yeah, advantage does belong to Nico with um, SS being on his last stock for game four. Shield mode, not the greatest uh, offensive tool. Oh, and there we go. Smash Art from center stage. We'll be able to take out that next stock. And we're going to game five, Z-Fly. That's right, game five. You know what I love to see? Game fives. Okay, it looks like they're just... Look like it's the option to just run it right back. But... Maybe not. Yeah, so, that's us thinking about it. So the, the difference between, like, these, these games is just... Nico being able to get in around the defensive tools that SS is able to put up. In that last game, we saw SS make a few mistakes with his, his uh, ink management. That seemed like it actually really cost him. Yeah. And of course, Arizona rooting for SS. Of course. Once more. Okay. Oh, wow. Break the, the Break the Target song. Uh, ha haven't heard that in a while. <laughs> It's a classic. Yeah. So. Gonna have to see how this goes down, though. Uh, I mean, just from the, the the way the stage works, they're playing a much more neutral-based game. Uh, they're being a little bit more hesitant to really interfere each other's zones. Well, I mean, you have to keep in mind, now there's no platforms to help with the approach or the recovery. And there's a lot more on the line than uh, in these previous games. Now, both players cannot lose this next game. All right. Back air to be able to put him back off stage. We'll see how that option going to be. Tries to catch him with another back air, but Speed Shulk is going to be able to make it back into the neutral. Okay, trying to get the two frame with the forward air. Nico's not able to find it. Now a couple back airs coming out from the SS. Gets the grab into a back throw. Now shield mode into a with backslash. Forward throw. Oh, into the back air, just went right around that hitbox and was able to get that stock there. Okay, rapid jabs coming from SS. Gonna put a good amount of ink, but Nico able to sneak in that back air. Trying to maintain the stage control. Smash mode is so strong and so vital in this matchup. Yeah, just able to get those early kills on Inkling before they rack up too much damage uh, and overlap your stock. It's very important. But we're going into a basically even game right here. Smash four turns. <laughs> okay, but SS is keeping his uh, aggression up. Now Nico's turning on, turning the table. He lands two hits with Smash mode and or Buster mode, and able to put SS in forty percent. Gonna get an up throw, up air. That still works. <laughs> Multiple percents. That should be just fine. All right, and avoiding that that uh, roller. Yeah, both of these two, like like you said, uh, they're just trying to microspace around their hitboxes. I'm surprised that we're seeing roller come out as often as we are in this game five, because just with the way that Nico's been playing, he's doing a lot of short hop back airs, nares, and forward airs. If you're uh you're rolling at him on the ground, that you're gonna get clipped. Yeah, it's kind of difficult to see. All right, so uh, right there, I think. Uh, Nico was in the air, so he's not going to get grounded by that roller. Right. You do have to be standing in order to get grounded, but, but, but Smash Mode coming in clutch again. Too far. Got hit by the grenade and still not able to tech. All right. We're on final stock between these two players right here. 22% already from two up tilts, but SS going to be able to get a lot of damage out of here. 43%. That's right. Able to punish that directional air dodge. Uh, and now it's just with the amount of ink that's on Nico going to be in his advantage, but wow, Buster Mode coming in close. He took his jump! This is an opportunity to go in hard, but in fact, he gets back to ledge. Yeah, but Nico right now with a lot of control right here at the edge of the stage. Is he going to go for a deep edge guard? He will not. Just goes back to the stage and he gets the back air right there, and he's going to close it out there with the final stock in his favor. Wow.
the way this entire set has been going back and forth, even to get popping off, raising his bag to the air, giving the people what they want. Defending home turf That's right, right there. SoCal Chronicles. SoCal. Yeah.